everybody, Marlene, aka Snowgarden 307 a long time no see on this channel. Um, I had a video filmed for you guys that was going to go through my April groceries along with prices and stuff, and I inadvertently deleted it. So here we are in May, and we're just going to jump back into the channel. The reason why there have not been as many grocery hauls or any at all is my husband has started a new, new job. He is traveling out of town, and things have changed up quite a bit. So we're trying to get back to normal. We're trying to get into our meal plan and not eating out as much. So let's go ahead and jump in today's video. Hello everybody, Marlene aka Snowgarden 307. We are here for grocery hauls today. Today I have two small hauls for you. I went to our family dollar slash dollar tree and I also went to our local store which is Ridley's. Now I'm planning on going out of town tomorrow and so we're going to be doing some clearance shopping at Smith's tomorrow. So that will be the last haul that we see. I have no idea what we're going to find there but let me go ahead and show you what I got today. Here is my grocery haul today. Let's go ahead and start with the grocery store. I went ahead and grabbed a couple gallons of whole milk. We did not have any milk left in the house whatsoever. We've been using powdered milk and the shelf stable milk. So I went ahead and grabbed two of these and these were on sale for $2.99 if you bought two instead of $3.79. So I saved 80 cents a piece on that. And then I know everybody's gonna be totally shocked, but we got some cheese. Um, my husband has been so super busy that we've still got a couple blocks in the fridge to grate, but he hasn't had time. So I went ahead and grabbed some bags. These bags of cheese were on sale for $4.99, which is the cheapest that I've seen them in a long time. The last time I bought them on sale, they were $5.99. So this is just store brand. I went ahead and bought two sharp cheddars and three medium cheddars. So I did grab five bags of cheese. And then they had the salad kits on sale for $2.98. Let me double check that. Yep, $2.98. The Sunflower Crunch is one of my favorite, if not the favorite. My husband loves it as well. So I went ahead and grabbed two of those. And then my coworker. Um, brought this crunchy taco chop salad kit to work the other day and it was looked so tasty that I wanted to go ahead and try it. So I grabbed three of those and then they had strawberries on sale, two for three and they looked pretty dang good. So I went ahead and grabbed two of those. I was out of cottage cheese for snacks and stuff to go with strawberries and stuff. So I just grabbed one cottage cheese and the cottage cheese was on sale for $1.69. That is what I got at the grocery store. And so my total so far is $44.56. And then we head on over to the food section at the Family Dollar slash Dollar Tree. The reason why I went was to get these sausages. So I am not a big sausage fan when it comes to breakfast, but my husband absolutely loves it. I found these probably a year ago or so, and they work perfect. So if we do a weekend breakfast meal and he wants some sausage I can grab one of these out we cook them in a pan just warm them up and they uh, are perfect for him for sausage so I've got the links I got four of those they're $1.25 a package you guys and then I also got just the original patties and four of those so $1.25 yes I know that these are more expensive than buying bigger packages of sausage but we don't need bigger packages so that's what we did and then I went ahead and grabbed a couple drink mixes. I got the Zero Sugar Lemonade and also the Sonic Ocean Water. And the Ocean Water is my favorite. Absolutely love it. And so for these drink mixes right here, it looks like they were $1.25. So $1.25 for those, $1.25 for the sausage. I saw these lemon shortbread cookies. Did we need them? No, but I went ahead and grabbed them. They were $2.25. And then my coworker eats this licorice all the time and I steal some from him every now and then. So I bought this one bag for me, but I bought these three bags to take to him at work to uh, thank him for sharing his licorice with me all the time. And you guys, this Willy Wallaby, I don't know if you guys have had it or not. If you like licorice, it is so tasty. And so these were only $1.24. And then they got me with the Reese's medals. These are the newest Reese's uh, product, of course. And they had them on sale four for five. So I went ahead and grabbed four of those. And so my total at the Dollar Tree was $27.05. All right, you guys, that's it for today. So I will be back tomorrow. Hello, everybody. As promised, I am back with a, another grocery haul. This grocery haul um, is one thing from the Dollar Tree. I went to the Smiths, which is a Kroger in the town 100 miles away from me. Now, my totals on my Smiths receipt are going to be off 
because I met my daughter and instead of taking her to a meal since I was in her town, I went ahead and treated her to some groceries because there wasn't time for a meal. So let's go ahead and turn around. I'm going to show you guys the makeshift meal plan that I did after I bought groceries. This is unusual for me, but that's how it worked this time. So let's go ahead and start with the meal plan. Then we'll jump into the rest of the groceries. So here we are in my kitchen. Now this is a brand new meal planner that I designed and I have sold it to my YouTube members that are um, paying members of my YouTube, but it has not hit my Etsy store shop yet, but it's going to, I will let you guys know one difference between this meal planner and the one that's going to be listed for sale is the binding. So I love doing stuff with the discs, but the punches for the discs do not like laminated things. So this is going to have um, two three ring binder um, combs is what they're called. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So today is a Thursday and I went out of town. So tomorrow we're going to go ahead and do ribeye steak with sauteed mushrooms and onions and a baked potato. On Saturday, we're going to go ahead and do BLTs and chips. And you can see here that this week has been a kind of a weird week with work schedules and such. And then we're going to go ahead and do smoked moose roast and some sides. This is going to be on Mother's Day, so it's going to be up to my husband. Then on Monday, I'm going to go ahead and do chicken breast smothered with spinach artichoke dip air fryer potatoos and I'm sorry about the cat in here caterwauling but you know how pets are and on Tuesday it's going to be fend for yourself Wednesday is going to be leftovers on Thursday we're going to go ahead and do breakfast we're going to do um, some maple spam eggs and blueberry pancakes on Friday I'm going to make some homemade pizza it's been a while since we've done this and my husband is a pizza lover so we're going to go ahead and do that and on Saturday we're going to do breakfast two times this week I have been craving biscuits and gravy so we're going to do biscuits and gravy and you know probably eggs or hash browns or something like that so for the meal planner, you can see that you've got a grocery list on one side and a meal planner on the other side. You can see there's no grocery list because I did not have a plan for a grocery list when I went. And that's because I was shopping a different way. So of course here you can see a grocery list of the past that I've used. And I just started using this planner, but you also get a monthly meal plan if you wanna utilize it that way. And I'm going to backfill this May planner with what I have done so far this month. And then in the future, I'm going to go forward and try to write in the months. So let's go ahead and talk about what I got and why. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and start. We're going to start with our Dollar Tree haul. All I went in there for was the shelf stable milk. These are $1.25 a piece. They are wonderful. My husband likes to drink them. I haven't tried them because I don't drink a lot of milk by itself, but these are great because of course you look at that shelf or that best use by date and it's almost a year out. So it will sit on the shelf. It'll be good to go. Then if you run out of milk in your fridge or in your freezer, depending on where you store your milk, you've got another option. So those were $1.25 a piece. That's all I got from the Dollar Tree. And then you go ahead and look at what I gathered. And I was looking for things on sale. And you guys know I love the clearance stickers, the reduced stickers. We're going to go ahead and start out on this side. My husband has been asking for cream of wheat for quite some time. And I kept waiting to find it on sale. Couldn't find it on sale, couldn't find it on sale. And this week we weren't spending a lot of money on groceries, so I went ahead and grabbed him a box. So 6.49, we were just reminiscing about how cream of wheat used to be one of those things that you would buy that didn't cost a lot of money. I mean, this is just one of the things I was raised on because it was cheaper. So this was 6.49 and this box is 28 ounces, so one pound, 12 ounces. And it says that there are 24 servings per container. For my husband, you know, I'm sure he eats at least a double serving, if not a triple serving. So we'll see how long it lasts. But that's something that he wanted, so I was happy to get that. They had this maple flavored Spam on clearance for $2.93. So I went ahead and grabbed two of them. We have not tried this flavor, so I didn't want to buy a whole bunch and have us not like it. Then I went ahead and grabbed this little thing of tahine. And this is the habanero tahine. And my daughter said it's super tasty, so I went ahead and grabbed it. It was $1.26. Also on clearance, I went ahead and grabbed a spinach artichoke and parmesan dip made with Greek yogurt is what this one is. I grabbed one and my daughter grabbed one. I ended up with both of them. So kind of bummed about that. I am going to use 
the one that I bought for us for the chicken. So I'm going to go ahead and bake up some chicken. And then in the last minutes, I'm going to go ahead and top it with this dip and probably a little bit more Parmesan cheese. And I guess the other one, I'm just going to take to work with some crackers or some veggies if I've got them. And we're going to use them that way. Then I love these little hummus and pretzels to take with me to work. And so these were $1.57 and they are good until June 7th. So I've got about a month to eat these four. So that will be just perfect. I am in love with the Chobani flips. Yes, I know they're not healthy, but they're just a great little snack. Um, and these were on sale three for five, so $1.66 a piece. So I went ahead and gra grabbed some extra, you know, six of them. And I haven't tried this one right here, the chocolate caramel cookie. But of course, it reminds me of a Girl Scout cookie, so we'll see if I like that one. So I went ahead and grabbed those. And then we have got some chips back here. My husband asked if chips are on sale. Will you grab some? I said, absolutely. So the Lay's and the Cheeto products were on sale for $2.29. So I grabbed two bags of regular Lavy Ways, a La Wavy Hickory Barbecue, and a wavy Funyuns and we have tried the wavy Funyun uh, Lay's potato chips before and they were pretty tasty and then I've got my favorite Cheetos these were the Mexican street uh, corn Cheetos and then I've got a regular Cheeto back there so $2.29 on those and then another thing that I haven't bought in a long long time is the Tostitos the queso and because a jar this size at my store is $6.99 these were on sale along with the chips for $2.29 so I went ahead and grabbed a couple to stock up and then we have got some clearance prices and you guys know I love clearance prices look at how beautiful these baby Bella mushrooms are absolutely gorgeous so they were clearance down to 240 and of course the reason why they're clearanced right there May 11th and so I grabbed I've got a 240 225 for the baby Bellas and then I also grabbed two white mushrooms and these were each $1.93 again they look absolutely gorgeous so I'm going to obviously probably use some baby Bellas to go with our steaks the other ones I am going to get them canned up now canning mushrooms is super easy for yourself so I'm excited about that I also grabbed myself some cantaloupe this still looks pretty dang good so this was 50% off so that was two dollars and fifty cents for that cantaloupe for a snack for me and and then you guys, Kroger got us, Smith's got us with their um, big sign that said this bacon was $5. And let me show you guys the picture right here. So if you look, you just see the bit, the $5 is super big. But if you look closely, it says $5 per pound. So my daughter had picked up two. I had picked up one. This is three pounds of bacon. So instead of being $5 like we thought it was going to be, which would have been one heck of a deal, but sometimes you find that. This ended up being $14.99. So I spent $45 on bacon today between my cart and my daughter's cart. But it's okay. $5 a pound for thick cut good bacon is still a good deal. And so that is a lesson learned for me. And of course, we realized it at the checkout. So we could have put it back. But I was like, you know what? It's okay. It's still within the budget. It'll be just fine. And then we also grabbed some ribeye steaks. So let me show you guys this right here. So this normally is $15.99 a pound. And I've got a little video right here that I'm gonna inset that shows you with the digital coupon, these were under $7 a pound. So the normal price of this package of steaks would be $42.05. I got it for $18.34. And I had to get another pack, would have normally been $39.50, and I got it for $17.22. So uh, this is what we got. And I'm hoping that this dip is good, especially since I ended up with two of them. I've never gotten the one with the uh, Greek yogurt. So let's talk about my total and let's go ahead and turn around. So there are several things that you don't see here um, because they're at my daughter's house 100 miles away. So part of it is $30 worth of bacon. And then she also got some squeezed jelly for $3.99, a Prego Italian pasta sauce for $1.67, and then what else did she get? That was mine. Uh, mine. And she got a couple of the hummus as well. And she got some little macaroni and cheese cups that were on clearance for 38 cents a piece. So she got four of those. And then she also got some Oreos. She got two packs of Oreos, a vanilla one and a chocolate one, and they were on sale for $2.49. She bought herself some goldfish crackers for $2.99. And I say she bought herself, but she put it in her cart and I paid for them. And then she also got 
um, the little muffins. I can't remember what brand they are, but they were buy one, get one free. The little chocolate chip ones, and I think she got a birthday cake one. They're normally $5.79 a piece, so she got two boxes for $5.79, and she had a couple other little things, but that just gives you an idea of what we had, and so we spent $170.66. Now, I know some of you guys know that my weekly budget is $125, so you're probably going, Marlene, you went over budget. First of all, I have money that I set aside for my daughter to either take her to a meal or buy drinks or something like that, so we're going to pull that money in. Also, the steaks and stuff like that, we're going to use one today, but three of them are for stockpiles. So we're going to go ahead and pull a little bit of money out of the prepper pantry budget. All right, you guys, that's it for this week's grocery haul. Thanks for coming along with us. And until next time, remember to keep on smiling. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.